Hi, I'm Akrodinik, lead developer of Rackforms, and in this video I have something really awesome to talk about, Rackforms Express. It's free and it is powerful. So the basic idea is Rackforms Express, just like the full Rackforms, is a native multi-page form editor. That means when I log into my editor interface right here, I'll get a screen where I can go ahead and add pages, form field elements, and then ways to send form submissions off to different places. This is probably uh, something you may have seen before and it's pretty standard. The difference is, once again, Rackforms Express is free, but also incredibly powerful. So let me load up a sample job here and just show off a few of those features. The first feature I wanna show off is our ability to set the layout of our page to meet our exact specifications. So in this particular case now, I'm looking at this form, you can see here that what we have um, is something we call column or table mode layout. That is, the labels are shifted off to the left of the form field. Now that's by no means the only way that we can display this form content. So if I scroll down just a touch right here and uncheck this table mode layout right here, you'll see that I now get what we call a sortable mode right here. If we're not happy with that, I can go into page properties and select free form from my list right here. You'll see that now I can literally just drag and drop elements wherever I want them on the page. Of course, even better, I can actually toggle between these modes anytime I want. So if I decide that one way looks better, I can shift it, experiment, and do it as many times as I need to. The other thing that we have in Rackforms is the concept of tokens. This is a slightly more advanced feature here, but we like to think of in Rackforms uh, here is that there are toy forms and then there's real forms. Rackforms creates real forms. So one of the things that defines a real form is the ability to populate fields dynamically. And it doesn't take too long to think about why that might be important. For example, we might have an email marketing campaign that when you click on a link, takes you to a form. Now we don't want the users to have to fill out information more than once, so we're gonna embed links within that email link that then pre-populate the form. And that's exactly what we're doing right here. So what I've got here is this dollar sign name, which basically means take a dynamic value and then populate this field at runtime. Super, super powerful. We also have the ability to do lots of validation. So in this particular case, I'm requiring this field and I'm also using a regular expression rule to make sure it's a valid email. I have a brief question summary a box right here. This is a text field. And so in this particular case, I'm gonna require it. I'm gonna make sure at minimum we have 20 characters and at max 200. And I do that using the display count field right here, right? So I can very easily give feedback to my user to make sure they're getting the exact information that they want. And we're not frustrating them by kind of giving them error messages without a way to fix them. Finally, we have this select item right here. And again, this is a slightly more advanced feature, but again, real forms require real solutions. In this particular case, I wanna have a range of years asking the user for the birthday. Now I could use item options right here and simply type in years, one for each one of the years that I wanna show in. So if I can go 1950, 951, etc. Well, this is obviously really boring. So Rackforms gives us the ability to use range expressions. In this case, I'm simply saying, give me all the years from 1950 to 2013. And you'll notice when I build the form, that's exactly what we get. Rackforms is all about power and making your life easier and faster. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about real briefly is, again, another power feature. This is something that nobody else gives you. It's the ability to edit code directly within your form. Now, we're actually doing that in two places right here. The first is with this Your Name field right here, and we're doing that in raw PHP. So if I scroll down here, we got a little box called Page PHP Top Code. And I'm simply using a snippet of PHP code right here to set the value of this name to this value right here. And you'll notice again when I run the form, there my name comes up. Of course, we could change this to be anything we want. Now the idea here is if we needed to make a database call or some other logic, we can simply do that in code in that PHP top code section to get the exact value that we need. On a slightly more realistic value for a lot of users, uh, CSS, HTML5, there's a lot of cool things that we can do now. Forms have never looked more beautiful. So we want to make sure that we give the ability for you to be able to change styles as needed. And that's exactly what the page JavaScript slash head code section does. Now in this particular case, you'll notice that I have these blue outlines in my form fields, and when I click on them, they highlight a little bit. The reason that does that is because in my page JavaScript head code section, I found a snippet of code on the web, and I copy and pasted it into this area. Now this style definition right here is gonna be used for my form. Again, nobody else does this right here, exclusive to Rackforms and Rackforms Express. And again, Rackforms Express, totally free. Tons of power, free, can't beat that. So I'll leave it at that. Um, it's a free download. You should find it just above the link in this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, we can be found at rackforms.com. If you have any questions about this or any of other products, we love to take questions. Our email is, once again, info at rackforms.com, or you can find us at rackforms.com. 
Thanks so much for your time, and I can't wait to see what you guys create with this tool.